What's going on guys? I am Matthias and welcome to 10 pointless tech gadgets that may waste your money. Yes, that is right. Today we're looking at 10 tech gadgets that will most likely waste your money and I'm gonna be the deciding factor if they do waste your money because I'm going to rate them wasteful or tasteful. Guys, make sure you click that bell icon next to my channel name on desktop and on mobile to get notified when I upload videos because when I upload videos, sometimes I live stream beforehand. Also, you don't want to miss my videos because if you miss my videos, you will be sad and I don't want you to be sad. I want you to be happy. That's why I make videos. Oh, light up. Oh, this is eye hip, dude. This ain't just hip. This is eye hip. It's doubly hip. Color changing light bulb with remote. Changing different hues at the click of a button. I used to have lights like this that actually had a remote with it. Because here's the thing about these light bulbs. They're not high quality. Like how much did this one cost you? $7. Okay, so look, I get to choose from all of these different colors here. And I also get it to go bright, flash, strobe, fade. This right here is a hue light, okay? It turns on and there's more light. And then it also, that it also changes colors. See, check this out, boom! You can change colors, adapts around it. But you'll notice, go back to that one color, you notice the lines on my face kind of like moving up and down. It's hard to detect because these things have a very fast active refresh rate. So when I unplug this, always turn it off first kids. I don't know how to use a light bulb anymore. You're gonna probably notice a much heavier refresh rate. If you don't, I will be impressed with this bulb. If you do see a really ugly refresh rate, it's what I kind of expected with a cheap LED bulb. Why is it strobing all different colors? Stop, dude. Brightness up. Oh my word, that is That's dim. That is dim AF. Okay, so it does go darker, but it doesn't, like that is so dim, dude. Are you kidding me? Let's do white. That's white. Purple. That's it says that's white. That's supposed to be white. It's like literally by my head and it's not even casting a shadow. Let's turn off. That is very, very weak. But the refresh rate isn't bad, but that's probably because it's so weak. Let's see if it will strobe. Heads up, it's about to strobe. Are you kidding me? That's it. Oh wow, dude. Wow, that's strobing fast, man. <laughs> that's what they consider strobing? What? Do I press it again to go faster? That's it strobing every one second, every two seconds. Well, that does look cool. Looks like a lightsaber, dude. I don't like this. This is cheap. This is wasteful. Annoyatron Prankster Pack. Periodic beeps and sounds make your friends crazy hunting for that annoying noise. Ringtone Annoyatron. Unsettling spooky sound effects scare the crap out of your friends. So you hide these little things somewhere and people just cannot find out where the noise is coming from. I used one so far in the office and it's had me in stitches as my poor colleague slowly went mad searching for a small child's laugh. Yes, they're quiet, but if you hide it just right, it's a mental meltdown. Great fun at the office. Battery died too soon, but while it lasted, it's been a blast. My roommate thinks we have a rogue cat inside somewhere <laughs> and a ghost in her room. No lie, she's burned sage, told her whole family, and I swear she's trying to find a priest. That's messed up, Damn. dude. That's harsh, bruh. Add to cart. Oh, Annoyatron, prankster pack. Pesky ringtones, annoying noises, and spooky sounds. So I'm taking out all the tabs here. You choose which sound you want. You choose which sound, so I'm gonna choose now. Those are all the noises that are in this. So now you can select which noise. That one right there would drive me crazy. Cause you'd be like, where is that? It sounds real. You know, like the cat, like, come on, like, come on. Oh, is there a cat in my room? Like ding dong, like, uh, you'd have to have that exact sounding doorbell. This next one. That one would be, what does that sound like? It just so sounds like someone, around. someone. <laughs> if it rotated through a bunch of ghastly noises, but like if I heard the same noise over and over and over, I'd be like, okay. Like after the third time, I'd be like, last one. Ringtone. 
draw this. Ringtone. That's an old ringtone, dude. Oh, oh, the vibration, dude. So if I go to vibration, that right there would get me for sure, dude. Because I have like a ton of phones, man. If you just set this somewhere, I'd be like, what phone is vibrating, dude? Okay, I like this. I'm going to keep these. I'm going to mess with Amanda. Don't tell her. Seek Thermal XR Imager for iOS. What? So this thing supposedly sees thermal imaging. That's incredible. For those of you not familiar with thermal imaging, it's looking at the world through temperature, so to speak. With a detectable temperature range of negative 40 to 626 degrees Fahrenheit, tracking wildlife, spotting predators. Focusable lens allows you, users <laughs> to fine tune their thermal imagery. <laughs> so I'm assuming since it was $250, Brian didn't buy it. I did not buy it. Ah! Ah! Guys, do you want us to make a video with this thing? It'd be funny to see, let's say if it actually works, right? we can put like sheets up and have people hide behind them. Yeah. To see if it would work. Yeah, let's do that. Also, let's try to find some predators for real. Give this video a like if you want to see that. If this video gets enough likes, I will buy that and we'll make a video dedicated to finding how that thing works. But it's only dependent on if you like it because if it, this video doesn't get likes, then I know you aren't interested. Oh, what? Uh, force push with a Jedi training rod? I'm shook. What is a Jedi training rod? You've never heard of a, you're obviously not a hardcore. Star no, dude, Wars fan. I'm a hardcore Star Wars fan. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I've never been like, let me go get my training rod. Oh, Jedi Force Levitator. Okay, they show Obi-Wan and he doesn't have a Force Levitator. Why is, I don't remember that kid in Star Wars at all. Oh, sweet, dude, a Force Rod. Oh, that's very delicate. This is so delicate. It's just like, it's tinsel. Oh, it got stuck. It got, it got stuck on. I'm not reading the instructions intentionally because I want to see what's going on here. Oh. What? It's just blowing air? It's, it's just, it's, it's creating static. It's not blowing air. It's creating some type of, st <laughs> keeps sticking to my face, dude. Oh. oh. You see that thing? Oh. oh, it shocked me in the face like six times! <laughs> Whoa, oh. no! Oh, it shocked me! Dude, it's attacking me! Sorry, but Jedis have more control over the Force. No! Oh, it shocked me in the nose again! Oh, it shocked me in the arm! Stop, stop. It comes after you, dude. Why do they come after me, bro? Don't come after me. Ow! Oh, jeez, oh, dude, that really shocked me! Oh. Mm. This thing stings, dude. Literally, it just generates static electricity, so you get shocked. And now I'm shook. Here, dude, you do it. I want you to get shocked. Ow! <laughs> you hear that? Stop. Don't. Stop. You touch me, you die. So you're really afraid of me right now, that I'm electrically charged. I hate static charged. electricity, dude. I don't like that. I rate that a wasteful. If you're gonna short circuit your stuff, that'd be careful. I think it's pretty. <gasps> dude. Wow! Oh! <laughs> that was crazy, dude. This tool right here, this little kid's tool, you can literally go walk up to someone's computer and just talk to them and just be like underhandedly pointing it at their like machine and just fry their machine. I barely even pointed it at my machine right here and the whole thing glitched out. Ah, Pro Buds. What is this? Two-in-one micro earpiece. Car charger? Driver series? Up to 1.5 hours of talk time. So what this is, is you put that in your car, and this is specifically designed so that you can talk in your car, right? It's an earpiece. So it's just an earpiece, but it's designed for easy use with your car. Wow, that's supposed to fit in your ear? That looks painful. That does not look like it belongs in an ear. I mean, I guess, oh, it's just not comfortable. Ouchie. That is not comfortable. There are the contacts right there. You see those two contacts right there? Boom and boom. That's how it charges. Whoops. So you plug this into your car. Boom. You got a charging earpiece. Oh. So when you get into your car. That's why it's not comfortable. You gotta put oh. the ear tip on. Gotta put that ear tip on. No wonder it hurts. No, no, that is an ear tip. Look, see? You have to take this one off first. Oh. It's just someone with a really small ear hole, am I right? So right now we're entering pairing mode. It's kind of cool. 
See the little thing light up like that? That's kind of neat. That took a while to put that new earbud on. Okay, so now I got the, fits for my ear. I got giant ears. Sweet, so you plug this in, put that in there. Also have some, so you don't waste a port on your car. You can actually also charge other USB stuff. Here's the question, does this actually work? So Brian's gonna call me right now. I'm gonna answer. Oh wait, I'm gonna try and answer right here. It says, you'll have an incoming call. And then it says then a phone number. Answered. Hello? Oh man, that's quiet. Hold, hold on, let me turn up the volume. Ooh, that's some bad quality audio. Okay, I'm hanging up on you. Hold on. Did I hang up on you? Yes. Ah, okay. Not very comfortable, but overall, it works. Here's the issue though. No. Nowhere near loud enough. So if you're in a car? Yeah, this is designed to be in a car. So it just needs to be way louder. All in all, sadly, I'm gonna have to say, it's wasteful. Make it louder and then it'd be tasteful. Bada bing, bada boom. Hexbug BattleBots Rivals. Ooh, BattleBots. I like the sound of that. What's a Hexbug though? I think I tried a Hexbug, didn't I? That it was, was a, a spider. It was like a Hexbug spider. Ooh. Okay, that's creepy. Oh, so these two little things are like BattleBots. So we can battle it out right now? Wage war on your opponents and take no prisoners. Now you can bring back action with you anywhere after the battle is over. Easily rebuild the defeating party for round two if they're up for the challenge. That sounds like fun. Although they look uh, inordinately tiny. So let's add to cart and find out. I have to be careful with electronics. I can't slam them. So look, we got the two little remotes there. That is literally the size of my biggest finger on my hand. Rivals, head-to-head -head remote control. Why are they so small? Those look kind of fun. I call this one. Gosh, there we go. Cut it, yeah, yeah, cut it, oh yeah. Okay, so there's this guy, that's mine. Okay, so I believe mine's on now. Oh, there we go, wow. Wow, these have a decent amount of control. So how do you, oh, that's cool. Okay, Brian, no, 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 relax, relax, bro. He's got like a saw blade, dude. Right here. What's the bet? Post an ugly face on your own Twitter. Lunch. Okay. <laughs> Go! Ah! Get out of here. Oh! Why are you coming up against me, bro? <laughs> I'm protecting Fine. my... See, the... Oh, jeez. The issue is you have to hit my back somehow. Yes! No! Ah! No! Yes! You are dead! You have been defeated! No! I die! Yes! No! What? Is that supposed to come off? No, that doesn't come off. Oh, that doesn't come off? No, I won, I think. Oh, more pieces of yours is falling off. Yeah, see, get that last piece off of mine. I have one more piece right there. Yours is not good. Kaya! Kaya! They just keep going, that's disappointing. Oh, so how do you ever know who wins? That's what I'm saying. So what I was assuming was going to happen is when all these pieces flew off, it would stop. Yeah. Therefore, your bot would be defeated. Slightly disappointing, although they're very fun, I just wish it had that functionality. You could be like, no, you didn't get me. So I would say, I would say it's tasteful. I would say it's tasteful. But for a man my age, I'd want something a little bit more intense. Wolo, music time remote controlled electronic musical horn. Plays La Cucaracha and Mexican hat dance. So this, what is, oh, there's sweet. Yeah, there's a video, it didn't pop up. There is no, it's just sound. It's literally just sound. And then there's the hat dance. So do you put this in your car? Yes, it's a gift for your car. Simple to install into the engine compartment. Connect one wire to ground and the other 12 volt music time is ready to play. See, I, I don't have that in my car. You do though. Sorry dude, we're gonna have to put it in your car, dude. <laughs> Add cart. Music time. Toca dos canciones populares. Oh my word, this is like legit. So uh, my my assumption for this, this is for someone that really, really, really loves those Mexican songs and they want them perpetually on their car forever. Or a food truck. Or a food truck. Or a food truck, yeah, yeah, food truck. Cause this looks legit right now, dude. How are we gonna use this? What have you got here? What is this? What is that? Hold these. No, dude. Don't let them touch. 
Don't let them touch. If you see a little spark when I tested this the other day. Is it gonna be really loud? I'm really scared now. You don't know you haven't tested it? I'm, I don't know. I don't think it's powered. Oh my gosh, dude! <laughs> oh, okay, so it works. That is for sure, it definitely works. What are we gonna do with this now, Brian? <laughs> I mean, is this tech? Is of this- Of course, there's wires, there's power, there's remotes, there's wireless technology, so that's- I guess so, I guess so. I say it's wasteful. Guard dog security eye stun cell phone gun stun gun gun stun? Four million volts. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, it's not an actual cell phone. It's just a stunner that makes it look like a cell phone so that when someone's creeping up on you, you can look like you're on your cell phone. <laughs> but that you're dead, kid. I don't know why you're stunning a kid, <laughs> but <laughs> don't stun kids, okay? <laughs> stun gun built to resemble the world's most famous smartphone. Built-in LED flashlight. Oh, there you go. Safety switch to prevent accidental discharge. Oh gosh, could you imagine? Put that in your pocket and you're like, oh mama! Crafted with convenient Wow, they're straight up trying to sell it like an Apple iPhone. Internal battery. An elegant case. You hear that music, dude? This is like and old school Apple style. LED flashlight. Trying to like get you all moved about a piece of like glass and metal. My life's different now. That was designed to provide security by delivering a stack. I'd be more impressed if it was an actual phone. Or is it? I don't know, let's find out. Add the card. World's first most smartphone looking stun gun. Like they accomplished a lot by putting a sticker on it. I mean, who's this gonna fool though? That's that's my question. We got like all the, the little case here because you know, you carry your cell phone in a case on your belt. They even had the liberty of putting a screen protector on it. No. Yeah. Well now that looks real dude, that's a sharp looking screen. Oh my gosh, the back too is looks like an iPhone. Look, they even put a screen protector on the back. Look, that's supposed to resemble a camera. That was the LED light. Right? Oh, that's the LED light. Never mind. Oh, that's funny, dude. Okay, so how does it work? I'm like legit a little scared right now because I don't know how it works. Ah! <laughs> oh. oh! Oh! I figured it out. Ready? Oh, jeez! That is so loud. I'm gonna show it to you again. Ready? Oh my that is so gosh, that is so loud. All right. No! Why did you <laughs> point that at me? Wait, do it to the box. See if it burns the box. See if it burns the box. Yeah, this is great. Don't do this at home, kids. Brian and I are trained I idiots. Oh, jeez, dude. No, it's just shocking. It didn't actually do anything to the box. You don't even really think it. What if you <laughs> conducted it through your <laughs> Conducted it through cardboard, Brian? <laughs> you don't know what's in that. What if Cardboard! That actually hurts the ears. Look at that. Look at that up close. Woo. Luckily, you'll, you'll perpetually have 100% battery <laughs> and it'll always be 941. I'd say as far as stun guns go, tasteful. This is super clever. You get the idea, right? You got a cell phone, someone's approaching you and you're like, I'm gonna call the police if you hit me. Buzza, you're dead, kid. Why is it always kids? <laughs> Buzza, you're dead. Before we see that next product, make sure you subscribe here so you see upcoming videos by clicking that big old red button that looks a lot like this below this video. Hit it, don't quit it, and let's continue it. Next item. Don't look, don't what look, is... don't look. Now this item used to be very popular back in the day. It used to be popular. This exact item? Yes, it was in every single car. Well, maybe not this exact item, but what this item can play. Cassettes. Now, see now, Brian, you're just wasting my money. External microphone and blank cassette tape included. What the heck? Are you serious? Why? How many of you guys in the comments know what this is? Like, let's be real. Or used one. Or have ever used one or even care? Let's be real. Do you even care what this? Oh my gosh, it's enormous. Why? Uh, do you need the instructions on how to use this? I don't need the instructions on how to use a cassette, bro. When I was growing up, these were just going out of style. Oh, it, do it does have actually a spot for D batteries. Literally D. This, kids, is called a tape cassette. See, there's a little film in there that you can digitally record onto. It's quite interesting. And it's all in its glory. So that we, what we do here is we open it. Where's the open? The manual. 
I may need the manual. Oh, I am doing it the wrong way. Whoopsie daisy. It's been a while. There we go, I did it after, literally I tried every other option. <laughs> Good, it's rewound. So now, plug in the microphone. Look at this Crazy, thing, dude. dude. I am now recording onto my new cassette player. I'm so excited to have a cassette player because I am going to record all of my musings, thoughts, and intimacies. Just keep them to myself. So now let's rewind. And now we play. It's so quiet, I can't even hear it. Let's try again, just recording with this microphone. This is a test, testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. This thing sucks, dude. Are you kidding me right now? Ah! Ah! <laughs> this thing's crap. All right, I, I just uh, found a tape way back when I used to use cassette tapes, uh, I want to I want to play it for you. Yes, hello. It is I, Matthias, for Diary Journal number 2758. Today, I saw a woman for the first time. She was beautiful. Mom, get out! Out! I don't remember that last part, dude. <laughs> Wasteful. This thing's a piece of crap. <laughs> Didn't I have something like this before? It was a basketball game. It was a basketball game that I was like destroying it up at, dude. Yay! So this is like a mini arcade. Couldn't you just give me the big one, dude? Why do you have to give me the small, tiny one? Two play modes, arcade style joystick, authentic arcade sounds, monochrome LCD background. Let's see what this is about. On. Uh-oh. I've never been good at Pac-Man. I never really cared about Pac-Man. Start. I'm going up, I'm doing it all. I'm that black dot. And I'm just going around and eating all the good things. Okay, I'm not so bad at Pac-Man, bro. Whoops. I'm not so bad. These guys stink, bro. Oh, that guy almost got me. But he didn't. Ha ha! Oh, he's chasing me now. Nope, he's not. Wow, this is... This is what? I'm sorry, I didn't hear what you just said. Ha! How many chances do I have before I, like, croak? Because I think I'm about to pass this level. Come on, bro! Let me at it! Oh, oh literally no. one left. No! Oh, screw this thing, dude! I don't like it. How much was this? 15? That's not bad. High score, 1,060. I bet no one has ever beaten that ever in the history of mankind. My top score is the best top score, am I right? You see that thing right there in the thumbnail? It's not what you think it is. Actually, it may be, it may be what you think it is. It is a back massager. <laughs> but it actually worked quite well. So go over there, click it, have some fun with me. That didn't sound good either. All right, high five. Is it gonna be really loud? I'm really scared now. What's going on guys? I am Matthias and welcome to 10 pointless tech gadgets that may waste your money. Yes, that is right. Today we're looking at 10 tech gadgets that will most likely waste your money and I'm gonna be the deciding factor if they do waste your money because I'm going to rate them wasteful or tasteful. Guys, make sure you click that bell icon next to my channel name on desktop and on mobile to get notified when I upload videos because when I upload videos, sometimes I live stream beforehand. Also, you don't want to miss my videos because if you miss my videos, you will be sad and I don't want you to be sad. I want you to be happy. That's why I make videos. Oh, light up. Oh, this is eye hip, dude. This ain't just hip. This is eye hip. It's doubly hip. Color changing light bulb with remote. Changing different hues at the click of a button. I used to have lights like this that actually had a remote with it. Because here's the thing about these light bulbs. They're not high quality. Like how much did this one cost you? $7. Okay, so look, I get to choose from all of these different colors here. And I also get it to go bright, flash, strobe, fade. This right here is a hue light, okay? It turns on and there's more light. And then it also, then it also changes colors. 
See, check this out. Boom, you can change colors, adapts around it. But you'll notice, go back to that one color, you notice the lines on my face kind of like moving up and down. It's hard to detect because these things have a very fast active refresh rate. So when I unplug this, always turn it off first kids. I don't know how to use the light bulb anymore. You're gonna probably notice a much heavier refresh rate. If you don't, I will be impressed with this bulb. If you do see a really ugly refresh rate, it's what I kind of expected with a cheap LED bulb. Why is it strobing all different colors? Stop, dude. Brightness up. Oh my word, that is That's dim. That is dim AF. Okay, so it does go darker, but it doesn't, like that is so dim, dude. Are you kidding me? Let's do white. That's white.